Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to part 47 of my Egypt Legendary campaign from Divided Impera mod where we previously, well, we didn't do much, we just uh, kept destroying the Romans we took their uh, new capital which was uh, Medlan after Rome and uh, now we're just uh, having our armies uh, just keep on pressing forward the only bad thing is that uh, we have to sit them back a little bit in order to replenish, that's the only setback that we have but overall we're doing nice uh, last time I was just ready to end the turn so let me go ahead and do that and let's check up on the politics real quick although I think uh, it's gonna be fine because uh, we recently destroyed a small secession which had us protected for a few turns and after that oh we're still protected yeah look at that 172 loyalty 58 98 these guys are doing great. Alright, uh, let's end the turn. They actually made the move and they're attacking Noria. Uh, can I auto resolve it? Yes, I can, but uh, let's play it manually. It should be a fun battle. One, two units of cavalry. I get four of what I have, but uh, they're all crappy as hell. Um, I mean, uh, beaten up, not crappy. Alright, we should. Uh, Go ahead and do this, just have a fun battle. Last episode we didn't have one, because it was just uh, an auto resolve first. Just four of my armies against one of theirs. Alright, my reinforcements should be coming straight be uh, from behind me. That means we're just gonna have to uh, go a little bit back. Let's not uh, force any unnecessary fight. Let's get you into group 5, you into group 6, and uh, yeah, just leave the, uh, the rest of the stuff alone over here. Uh, let's get you... Oh my dear lord, you're way too beaten up, aren't you? Alright, let's get you like this, and these fellas should go from here. Um, let's leave the uh, supply wagon wherever we can drop it. You go into guard mode, you as well, and let's begin. Okay, they didn't come straight from behind me, but uh, that's good enough as well. Alright, let's put all of these guys in the front to soak up all of the early damages. Holy hell, there's a lot of archers here, excellent. And then we're gonna go with uh, these fellas. And uh, these guys as well. Now let's get all of these sweet, sweet archers. Holy hell, they're way too many, aren't they? Way, way too many. Uh, what the hell are you even shooting already? Uh, the cavalry? No, 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 no. Just move back. Move back like this. Get the general here. Let's go with you and have some fun time. Oh, that's missile cavalry as well. Okay, we should be careful about that then. Uh, let's not forget uh, the pike formation on these guys. Can any of these go into any... Oh, they're already in disciplined formation. <coughs> Alright, should be good. Let's uh... Your orders. Where are you going? Straight, okay, just leave it like this for now. Let's just spread these guys here and here. Let's get the cavalry closer. And I think now we can start shooting uh, the Cohors Prima. They seem to be the toughest, the toughest unit. Let's go from behind on this cavalry and just start opening fire on them. No, 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 don't run away from me. Oh. Did they turn to face me? Oh, they did. 
Alright, it's two versus one. We should be able to overcome this. Alright, all of the archers uh, almost are in place and they will soon start opening fire. Uh, what happened here? Where's the other guy? Oh, he's only getting closer. Alright, cool. Alright, we're winning against that. Um, mm, let's not shoot with these guys, just keep them as a secondary shooting force when we run out with the rest. Alright, go like this. Oh, are we getting charged? No. Are we getting him destroyed? Ah, we ran out of ammunition before we do, and now the general is here. We could go over with our cavalry. Where's the... Okay, there it is. Alright, let's go over and kill the uh, enemy general real quick. Uh, let's even get you. I'm pretty sure our line is gonna hold quite nicely. Let's get them into Hoplite Wall. And I think it's time for you to open fire. And for you to shoot back here. Alright, let's get you close <clears throat> oh what the hell why are you not moving okay you know what go back to here go back to here uh, the general along with the uh, Tarantines over there I think they're gonna be more than enough to handle that cavalry over here I think they have run out as well alright let's get it started Let's bring you over here, and if the general doesn't, doesn't want to engage, we'll have to uh, force him to. Uh, let's have you three to actually shoot constantly at him. Alright, uh, now he's engaging. Turn the catapults to these fellas, actually. Come on over here, take this out real quick. General, get over here. And, uh, yeah, I think we're doing nicely. Let's just watch the... Uh, the battle for the moment holy hell look at the rain of our of arrows over here <clears throat> they are barely getting through to to our pikemen well they're not gonna get far are they and uh, yeah the enemy general is not doing that well <laughs> yeah, why are you uh, like this no oh, he's actually not taking that much of a damage Alright, let's try to get a charge here and here just to clip the edges. And let's hit this one. Okay, nice charge. You get really deep into that shit though. And uh, you know what? General, just get the hell away from here and never come back. Just get back there, brother. Alright, he is dying. He is going down. Alright, let's bring you over from here. You can pull out, because obviously you're not doing that well. I think it's the Tarantines that are gonna save us in this fight. Let's pull all the way back to here. We still got plenty of ammunition. Everybody on fire, on fire at will? Yep. Don't even try to come into my phalanx, brothers. You're not gonna... This is not gonna go well for you. Alright, I think we need to turn on the flanks even more archers. So let's go like that. You're still shooting the general. He's dead. Oh, you're shooting my... S you're shooting my... Me at the moment. Mmm, they're spread all over the place. That's why we couldn't get a... A garrison, a good... Uh, a good charge over on, on here. So we gotta be slow about that. Let's get this one on this place with the Tarantines. Let's see how it's gonna go. Yes, alright, that was at least something, not great, but we really did have an impact. Do we stay here, they're Sagan, these guys are still steady though, mm, and they're not dying fast enough, it's actually me that's dying. Alright, let's uh, bring you over here, the legionaries over here not performing well. 
All right, let's get another charge here. And you just get the hell back. I need to see who can still fight on this side. Let's uh, get a charge here. And uh, let's turn the pikes over this way. Okay, nice. They're not gonna break that easily though. Alright, we're getting a route over here. Let's pull out. Just let the rest of the guys shoot them. Actually go and uh, make sure this guy never comes back. And let's pull out with you. We're gonna get another charge here. Who could say that it was actually it would uh, it would be actually the Tarantines that would uh, save the day over here? All right, finish this one as well. And uh, yep, let's get another charge here and here. And uh, let's have you move here. I think they should be breaking now. I could just get the uh, the archers on the flanks, but uh, it's they're doing fine. Just shooting straight from their face. All right, you see, everything is cool. Let's uh, let's reorganize here. Yeah, I think we won. And our main units didn't get that hurt, except uh, these guys a little bit. But that's because mostly because of their pillars. And the pikes, well, they're not the best units at turning, aren't they? Uh, I don't have any ammunition with you, do I? That's fine. General, come back. Oh. Okay, shoot them. Everybody target these guys down. So we can get a charge on these Principes Samnititsi. Alright. You can stop, you can stop. And you can come over here. Go fast. Alright, you get the charge. There you have it. And now you start uh, chasing down units. Whoever you can catch. Let's have one of you go after this ones and you go after those ones. Now the Tarantines. Ooh, that's a lot of guys over there. How about escaping from that? Let's try to catch some. <laughs> really? You're wavering? With uh, 90, 51 men still alive and winning the combat? Ah, I think that's enough. Enough blood. Their general actually survived. I was uh, quite sure that I killed the bastard. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I can do this on my own.
Returned home. Child has died. Research complete. Banditry, banditry, political appointments, warring protection, subject. Okay, I think we maxed out all of the military uh, technologies. So now we can start working uh, on to what? What gives the best bonus? This one, cultural conversion and political cost reducement. Although we don't really worry too much about it. All right, um, I don't even need you. To be honest, but still, just keep coming towards uh, up here. Thankfully, there's not an extreme winter happening. Excuse me, over here. All right, we'll uh, we'll get into their territory, so we can make sure we can uh, reach Kasurgis next turn. That doesn't seem to be enemy any enemy force. It was mostly the guys that we destroyed. Go for the coin mint. And what the hell is even that thing? Uh, where is it? There you are. There are rumors abound that in the shadows and forgotten places your political rivals are meeting. Uh, kill them anyways. Kill them all. And uh, all right, let's keep pushing with you. Poor lad, he was the only one to escape. Oh, you're taking attrition over there, so let's move you back. You're still tra taking attrition. Yep, extreme winter. Well then. Public order is nice here, but not great, because uh, we only get a level 2 dignitary. Over here, <laughs> crap, he's only level 1, over here at least level 4, seems good. How about this one? Alright, you're gonna be needed up in the north, so just start going. Over here, let's leave you be. And, uh, crap, I think I should just, I shouldn't push at the moment. Too much of an extreme winter. Well, about these armies, I don't really care. I could just throw them like uh, like dogs at the enemy. All right, let's uh, let's go with that. Just keep everybody into fort stance until the winter passes. Mm, you messed up. You can get inside, can you? Alright, that's fine. Let's uh, turn all of that. Go with this and the food. Food and we'll be more than alright. Now the fleet. Alright, nice. You can get into the waters of Carthage. <coughs> Really, only one? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Public Order is gonna fix soon over here. Alright, what about here? I can't see what they've got, do I? It's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna even bother with crit. Seems good. Uh, okay, let's get that province up to level 3. Because most of the buildings are level 3. And I'm not gonna build anything else. I'm just gonna end the turn again. Offer of peace from the Senate. Perhaps your decision is.
failed robbery attempt. Okay, hidden aids and exposed, attrition, banditry, the usual stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, how about this province, by the way? How's it doing? Oh, it's doing really nice. Okay, let's uh, get it up to level 3 as well. And Alalia too. And leave it at that. Mm, next one should be uh, Magna Grecia over here. Oh, it's Sicilia. It's a different province, sorry. Yeah, just uh, leave the rest. Now you fella, I don't even know that I'm gonna need you as I said, but alright, just keep coming. And let's have you attack over here. Nice, it's only the garrison. We take this settlement for you, my lord. Lost anybody? Nope, we didn't actually have uh, great losses. We did more than well over here. Now, Loop Furdum is next. Get out. How's the public order? Crap, we're gonna get a rebellion. Please don't let it happen on Istros. Um. Can we just turn it straight away? Alright, cool. Just go for that. We get some spare money. And now it's uh, counter charge time. Alright, you will need to get up here. Because we already got one over on this province. Uh, do we get one here? Yes, we do. Oh, she's not deployed. Deploy, woman. Alright, which way? Uh, Alright, you two will take uh, Alkimo Ennis. Um, you lot. Can you live from here? Yes. Alright, so you will keep going up on Oburzis. I know you're beaten up, but it's not a big deal. Just keep going and don't ask any questions. Oh, you can't move any more than that. Uh, at least you're replenishing, so I'm just gonna keep you the way you are. Let's get you up here. All of you. Damn it, how many supplies are there in here? Like, all of the armies are replenishing. And at a fast rate. <laughs> they have abandoned Vesontio, but but uh, any agent back here? Yeah, this guy totally forgot about him. Let's bring him from here. They might actually just bypass through uh, Bibracte and come around, take Octuderon, just be a complete mess. Um, all right, how many cities? Are there like one, two, three, four, five? That's all, and we uh, and it's over. <laughs> That's sweet. That's really sweet. I'm gonna recruit a new army just for fun. Okay, you know what? What? What the hell does that? even mean just for fun, just screw it, just keep going. Stand the turn, upgrade your characters. Arathusa. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Just get the canning and uh, we're done. Much blood has been spilt. Rome suggests that we are... It's good when Rome is begging you for a peace treaty. And they were like a lot, lot stronger than us. They were something uh, of a superpower. Like uh, even uh, before attacking them, my balance of power against them was like 20% uh, 
for me and 80% for them it was like dude let's be real And let's not forget that when the war actually started, I was fighting on multiple fronts, like I was fighting in Spain, uh, not just the Romans, I was fighting pretty much all the remaining Spanish factions, I was fighting on Carthage against Syracuse and Rome, um, what the hell was that, rebellion? And Kasurgis, yeah, yeah, I saw it. And uh, down here we were still fighting against Pergamon and all of these uh, a-holes, we were fighting against the Athenians, the Spartans, and uh, I don't remember if there was anybody else uh, present over here, but yeah. And then we fought the Romans, like we were already in a really tough situation, we were taking a lot of hits from everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Fuck's sake. And we still held on. That was good. Alright, um, what do we do with you? Oh crap, just keep coming north. Uh, temple and uh, Founder. Now, uh, let's just make the attack with you. Will you be able to take loop for them? Let's go and check. Can you even reach it? Uh, I th think we will be. It's gonna be a little bit bloody because they have a small army in there. Although it's just German hunters. Well, archers actually do make a difference. But we'll we have this. Right, let's go offensive. Yeah, we lost a few units from the second army. Oh, it's fine. We uh, it wasn't pikes or anything like that. Oh, the Germans. Do they actually even like me? Hmm, that uh, seems like a good province for a military one. Although I'm not gonna keep playing it, but let's uh, let's do it. Ha uh, let's make it happen because it's right in the center. Um, okay, you know what? Just get rid of all of it. Just turn this one immediately. Influential police. I get it. I get it. Let's recruit whatever local troops there are, there are available. Okay, good. This province doing well. Let's go after this one. Holy hell, we're still replenishing over here. What is it with this uh, specific province? Why does it have so many supplies? Perhaps it uh, it's because it gets supplies from all the around provinces. Because okay, it's quite right into the middle of it all. We get uh, Medlan in the south, Noria, with Noria, these provinces from here, which uh, have been uh, pretty much already established. <coughs> Alright, good. Get out, please. Uh, we already have a dignitary here, so let's just move on. Holy hell. And we didn't even lose a single man. Oh, finally a small force of theirs. And the Syracusians are also here. A light police. Uh, go straight for that. Can I pick what I want over here? We can just go for influence and influential police. Why is that? Perhaps uh, that's what you get on uh, barbaric uh, regions. Who knows? Oh, can I actually? Holy hell! I can reach that, but can the other guys reach it? Or will I be alone? I can't see. So let's just go over here. 
about the other guy. Yep. They can't reach all the way up to here, so let's just stick together. How's the public order? Minus 19. Why is that? Differences in culture, instability, and conquest. Oh yeah, because of that. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just uh, let's get you outside. Actually, get back in. Get outside with the rest of the armies. That tiny detail might uh, be a, m a huge setback. The same goes for you. Go out. And let's actually see. Do the enemies of Rome actually like us? They don't. That's because I'm releasing a lot, of, a lot of troops of them. Yep, you see, military actions against Rome, 260, and the release troops are minus 230. <coughs> if it wasn't for that, they would be uh, positive. But right now, uh, they are not. That looks massive. And it's actually quite rewarding when you play it on uh, Dividend Impera. On the uh, standard campaign, yeah, it's, it's not that, you know, you don't feel that great. Ooh, what's that? Ambush, chariots, nope, morale, attritional losses, armor and melee defense skill. Ah, that melee defense skill could come in handy, but I'm gonna prefer, I'm gonna go over for this one. And what the hell is even that thing? Experience. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We'll just stick with these. Okay, sounds good. Hidden agent exposed, subversion, attrition report, missing taxes, missing supplies. Okay. Well, well, well. What do we got here? Mm hmm. Hmm. Get a special resource over here. Let's pick this one and that and the temple. And look at the Syracusians over there. I might just ask them uh, to join me into the war now. Nah, I can just bring over my armies, it's not a big deal. Unless these guys can attack me. Nah. We'll leave one army behind. Just in any case. <coughs> and uh, let's capture this. Chagororum. <coughs> so only two regions remain now from Rome and they are gone they don't have any fleet at the moment all right we can take over actually I shouldn't do that I should just keep you going so uh, let's pull you out the uh, the guy who's beaten up is gonna make the attack let's bring also the other one minimize the losses and uh, get the experience Periods. Excellent.
And as I said, let's keep going with you. So next turn, I think it's gonna be uh Yeah, I think it's gonna be the last. Rome shall fall. And our victory will be complete. Now you gotta know that every time you finish up an enemy, the AI just punishes you. And it uh, somebody random dude is gonna declare on us, but uh, I, well, I'm not gonna continue. I'm just gonna go with uh, ending the campaign right about where we need to. Pretty much controlling all of the map. If we want, we can just destroy everybody around us with quite ease, even with a crappy armies that we have been uh, getting at least on this side the armies that came from uh, Carthage and Spain originally because my military province and my uh, place of power was in the east are all crappy ones the only good armies are the guys that are uh, that came from yeah from the east mostly What the hell, they immediately attacked. Oh, at least we can win. Nice. It didn't finish them off, but uh, we'll just roll in with one army. We get two up in Tul, uh, tul uh, Furdum, if I'm correct. Yep. Alright, desertion, increase in rank, mission issued. Alright, let's do this. Let's finish this wretched campaign. Let's send you over. Alright, cool. We're taking attrition though. Probably heavy winter. Let's just release the captives. Can you go into in camp? Nope, just. You can't even get inside the city, shit. And cool. Let's do this. Let's capture the last bastion of Rome. Oh! It's actually not that easy. Well, yeah, because uh, we have taken attrition. It makes sense. Let's get you. Oh, you can't reach that. Well, just get out uh, outside of the city. You have and uh, okay, command. you are the one attacking. It's gonna be a little bit bloody, but we gotta do it. Yeah, we lost half of the army over there. Uh, it's not big deal. And there you have it, lads. Rome is no more. The only thing they have is this small army. Can we just go over and finish it off? That would be great. Oh shit. We got another small one over there. But alright, we can win against that as well. And just with crappy units. Look at that. I have freaking doom stacks and I can't win. And just getting cheap troops is actually better in auto resolve. Holy hell. And there you go. This is it. This is what we wanted to see. Rome destroyed. Let's get back to friendly territories and uh, let's go see. Just take a look of the uh, newly found Egyptian slash Greek Empire slash yeah yeah it sounds right Egyptian slash Greek. Uh, political party affiliation Ptolemaic dynasty. This is the stuff I control. This is controlled by the Macedonian nobility which are the guys that have been breaking my balls egyptian nobility only control small parts and the biggest uh, is controlled by the noble families okay actually it's the noble families that have been breaking my balls look at that they're actually quite strong 
<clears throat> they're like the strongest house. That's probably the reason they've been giving me such a headache. Alright, diplomatic status. Good. Public order everywhere is nice. This is a little bit bad because we just captured it, so uh, it's on the negative. It's gonna fix soon. Region wealth, as you can see. Alexandria seems to be like the wealthiest province. Followed. Oh shit. Massalia is really close. And actually, the Arabian cities are quite. quite rewarding. <coughs> Athens, yeah, quite much. Carthage, really good. Syracuse, also nice. But the uh, the best ones is Alexandria and uh, Massalia over here. What's that? Region growth. Oh, there's still some uh, available growth. Growth, I see. Okay, good. So we saw that. Let's go over to here. As you can see, everybody hates us. That's because of the expansionism, but nobody dares to attack us. We get zero enemies at the moment. Uh, if I would, I were to continue this, I would probably just finish off with the rem uh, with the armies uh, that I have here. All of the remaining barbarians, I would just um, honestly, I would invade Britain. I would just leave two armies over here as garrison, just in case they would. As soon as I had destroyed all of that. Yeah, first I would destroy these guys over here, then it would be these ones here, and while I was doing that and capturing settlements, I would just be recruiting new armies over here in order to invade the remaining east, and uh, the Medewi, I would just leave them alone, because uh, they don't really matter, the same goes for Crete. And uh, that was it guys, like, uh, this is, uh, this is how, how we did it, and it was actually quite tough I might say because that uh, this campaign I thought it would be easy and that's the reason I played it because uh, it was my first campaign on Dividend Impera I didn't know what to do so yeah I saw easy on Egypt I went for it but <laughs> it was actually one of the hardest because uh, you get two populations Egyptian Egyptian and Greek so the public order was amazingly f hard in the first tense to uh, handle I uh, couldn't do anything, uh, everybody was attacking me, Kirini over here, at least the Seleucids didn't, which uh, was quite uh, quite good, although if had had they attacked us, we would still win over them. We just picked uh, a strong powerhouse, whether it was Carthage or Seleucids, <coughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, we did it, so I really hope you enjoyed guys, feel free to leave a like or a comment, and I'll be seeing you on the next day campaign which is gonna probably come soon. I just need to uh, decide first uh, which one to play. So yeah, see you, see you again, bye bye.